Paul Newman, The Extraordinary Life of an Ordinary Man. I highly recommend this memoir. Its fraught backstory is almost as fascinating as the life story of the Oscar-winning screen icon. In 1986, Newman embarked on this memoir project, sitting for expansive and candid interviews with Stuart Stern, the screenwriter of Rebel Without a Cause. Newman encouraged friends and family to collaborate and to not hold anything back in uh, their tape discussions um, about him. In 1991, though, Newman changed his mind and he destroyed all the recordings. But the transcripts remained. And more recently, his family decided to um, reconstruct them for this book, which arrived about 14 years after Newman himself died in 2008 at the age of 83. Maybe some of you saw the HBO series, The Last Movie Stars, in which actors um, reenacted some of the inter taped interviews. Newman's memoir is extraordinary. It's an unflinching self-deconstruction that reveals the uh, celebrated actor's insecurities, foibles, and indiscretions, perhaps most notably his uh, years-long love affair with Joanne Woodward, who would become his wife, but the affairs started while Newman was still married to his first wife. Newman's observation in the book that uh, Joanne Woodward turned him into a sexual creature went all kinds of viral uh, months before the, um, the release of the book. Some of the memoir's most memorable insights come from directors such as Joy, George Roy Hill, who directed him in um, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, Sidney Lumet, who directed him to his first Oscar in The Verdict, and Robert Altman, who directed uh, Newman in the box office failure Quintet, a film so poorly received that a studio executive stormed out of um, the showing, um, lobbing an F-bomb at Altman. Um, but I really liked the film, Altman, Altman always maintained. This is an unconventional show business memoir from an unconventional actor who off screen was not always the cool cat or the master of the universe that uh, his films or the tabloids presented him to be. It will certainly uh, make you see some of his classic performances in a whole new light. And that's my verdict.